This is where the world's most advanced turbochargers are made, providing the extra capability for outstanding performance and improved emissions and more efficient fuel consumption for engines powering a wide variety of equipment worldwide. From on-highway trucks, to powerful pickup trucks, to marine craft, to emergency power generation equipment at hospitals and other facilities, and heavy-duty construction equipment. Equipment of all types around the world depend upon the turbochargers made here. At CTP, the Charleston Turbocharger Plant, Cummins has been building turbochargers in Charleston for more than 20 years, and operations here have been continually expanded and improved. Today, CTP has over 200,000 square feet of production. The advanced turbochargers made at CTP are designed and manufactured to optimize dependability, fuel efficiency, and performance. It requires precision manufacturing processes and unfailing attention to detail once the engineering team has come up with a new design of what they want the measurements for each component to be, then the supply chain team um, typically has a list of different suppliers throughout the world that's capable of producing such quality part. We purchase our parts from uh, suppliers from all over the world, um, uh, including China, India, a lot of European suppliers, but the majority is in U.S. Um, the same way our, our customers are from all over the world. Once parts arrive at CTP, critical components such as impellers and shaft and wheel assemblies are first machined in one of the plant's machining lines. To ensure maximum quality, the plant's machining area utilizes some of the world's most advanced machining technologies, producing critical components to highly precise tolerances. The impeller functions within the turbocharger to draw in air and compress it and must first be machined to exacting tolerances. Well, I'm a um, quality champion, and we take pride and integrity in our work here at Cummins, and we try to do it right the first time. Each impeller also goes through a precise balancing procedure to ensure that its performance is reliable in the most demanding environments. In order to meet the specific needs of various customers, there are multiple lines dedicated to machining shaft and wheel components. The plant machine's shaft and wheel assemblies are used in turbochargers designed for mid-range engines, as well as our heavy-duty and high-horsepower customers. These components must be machined to stringent tolerances that enable them to perform flawlessly at the high temperatures and pressures within the turbocharger. We use slim flow to uh, make sure we take the right parts to the line. And then we sequence it and we just gotta go by sequence and sequence by uh, scheduling so that we can get the parts at this plant on time at the lowest total cost. All the critical components come together in a high-speed flexible assembly process on one of the plant's assembly lines. Here, teams of highly trained employees for three shifts a day build and check each individual turbocharger all the way down the line. We have several kinds of different fail-safing in place. Pick lights, scanners, robots. There are different things out there that we can use to help the operator. Fail-safing is put into process to protect our customers, ensuring them that they get the best quality build turbo every time. During the assembly process, automated indicators check each part and help identify any part that does not meet specifications. For example, the air tightness of the bearing housing is checked by filling the bearing housing with air and measuring the rate at which the air is purged. Dedicated cameras are used to verify that the correct nozzle ring has been used. Plus, an advanced robotic system precisely measures the turbocharger to ensure the exact orientation. We believe the quality, we build the quality. We all work in the quality department. That's why the, all the operators, when the, the components come to the line, to the station, they feel they have ownership at the station. So they check the components before they install. They check any scratch or any damage. And even after installation, they will check before they leave the station. 
so they're taking full responsibility for their own station. Next, the assembled turbochargers are tested. To assure quality, the plant conducts ongoing testing in specially designed test cells capable of measuring a wide number of performance characteristics. Each turbo has a profile set up for it. We get with the engineers, they tell us what they're looking for from that turbo, what kind of profile they want. We set up a profile for each turbo and we run it and we check things like speed, temperature, uh, blow-by, comp flow, expansion ratio. We monitor the oil temperature. We run them as high as 700 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a pretty high temperature. We'll run them anywhere from 100 to 130,000 RPMs. And in doing that, then we're able to run them up and down and just check and make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Cummins is dedicated to continual innovation in turbocharger design. And CTP operates a lab dedicated to creating prototype turbochargers. You know, cleaner emissions, better fuel economy, uh, a more robust design. So, so the development work we're doing today uh, would result in a, in, a, in a better product in a year to three years from now. So the turbochargers we're developing are in the school buses that take kids to school, ambulances, the generators that power hospitals, schools, uh, all the way to the RV that you take on vacation. I mean, they're, they're literally in almost every aspect that you can think of in travel and, and everyday life. There are also dedicated labs within the plant to ensure the exacting quality standards required for certain critical components. It's very critical for the function of our turbocharger, we, the, the quality checks we do, and also it's very critical for the customers to deliver quality products. For example, general bearings, right? Uh, general bearings are a really critical component of um, a turbocharger. So the tightest tolerance on the roundness is two and a half microns. When you're talking about diameter for human hair, it's like nine, average diameter is 90 microns. So when you, you can compare and see, okay, we're checking two and a half microns diameter around us. CTP was created to build turbochargers with a team-based approach. People here are cross-trained to perform many roles. In fact, most employees are certified in several different jobs. Continuous improvement is a vital part of the work done at CTP, and Six Sigma is one of the key quality methods used for ongoing process improvement and many employees throughout the plant are trained in Six Sigma techniques. It's a common methodology that all of Cummins uses to identify waste, reduce waste, identify and reduce variation in our products and processes. So our team-based work systems is built on a foundation of trust and it helps the customer or the quality product because by allowing each the trust to occur within the team, they're not afraid, employees aren't afraid to say, hey, I need some help, or I need a manager to come tell me how to do something, or my prop doc's not right. So they build their trust with each other so they're not afraid to go out and ask each other for help. Safety is vitally important at CTP, and the plant has achieved an outstanding safety record. Our primary focus is safety first. Um, as long as each employee is operating safely, we can ensure that we would produce right the first time product for our customers. And we're part of the team that literally monitors safety throughout the facility 24 hours, seven days a week. So when we, we look now to identify potential hazards, we ensure that we have a clean, a healthy, and a safe environment to work in. And the employees are doing it. It's not something that leadership is doing, those that are right on the shop floor or right in the office doing the hands-on work are the ones that are monitoring these areas. The people at CTP also take an active role in the Charleston community, participating in and sponsoring a wide range of community work. From helping develop and provide environmental awareness training at local schools, to helping teach reading skills to children in disadvantaged communities. The employees here seem to be very interested in, in community involvement. They are very responsive to community involvement. 
We've had a couple of different food drives that have been wildly successful. We have a number of different days where folks can go and they can paint buildings, um, they can go and read to students, they can go and mentor students, and we do have a lot of response to that as well. It, it's very well embraced, at, at, and I mean, I think as you know, Cummins is very into community involvement. Technology, processes, people. I think right now we have commitment. If I put my name on that product, I want to make sure that that person um, will come back and say, oh, I will buy the product again. Uh, w one uh, thing that is very specific from this plant is the passion that every and each employee demonstrate on their daily activities. Uh, our teams come here every day bringing uh, minds and, and hearts to, to this place to assure that everything that we do is, is done properly and is done with uh, one uh, objective to meet our customer expectations. Uh, the work that I'm doing here, it makes me feel proud because I can see one of the Cummins trucks that has one of the turbos in it coming down the road and it just makes me feel good that maybe that's a chef that's in there that I had a hand on, you know, and it makes me feel very proud. We take pride in everything that comes off this line because it's a personal achievement for us collectively as a team working together and it doesn't get any better than that. All together, CTP is a team of skilled and talented individuals building the world's most advanced turbochargers here at the Charleston Turbocharger Plant.